Do you have any stats? Thank you so much. Cool. God bless you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Sorry that we are tardy. Here we are. I don't know. But a wonderful game to do through all the tribulations that they've uh, endured. Put up a heck of a fight. What I mean by that, I just was talking to the head coach before the game, and it's unbelievable what they've endured over the last several weeks since the storm. And uh, praying for him, I had some for him. I wish I had known so I could have did what I could possibly have done to assist. But uh, I got a lot of respect, a lot of admiration for the team, for the coach, for the university, for what they're accomplishing. Let's get it on. Coach, uh, are you glad you came here now? Yeah. With the way the what game went? And yes. The yes, kids I've got a chance to play in the NFL I've stadium? I've been glad to come. I didn't want to come. I just, I just like optics. When it comes to HBCU, we got to give you the best optics we could possibly give you. So when they pay in the audience on television, I like it packed. I don't like emptiness. So when you bring the HBCU team into a wonderful environment like this, I don't, the aesthetics are everything. But the fans support, um, it was phenomenal today. It was truly phenomenal and I'm pleased and I'm happy with the tournament. And I wanted to ask you if you remember the only college game you ever played here. I don't, I don't recall. The, uh, as you were a freshman, it was Gator Bowl. Okay. And uh, yeah. do you have any particular recollections? It wasn't here. Yeah. Well, it was a different stadium, different oh, configuration, but they yes. renovated it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I do. I do. I, uh, the late great Jimmy Callaway, which initially I usually have JC on my shoulders. I remember that game. He said, "Good job, guys. You got the socks." Said, Thanks, Callaway. But that's, that's just who he was. Like, he, he felt like that was a big deal to give us the stocks. He was extremely cheap, even cheaper than I am. But uh, that was a fond memory that he told us we could keep the socks. And I think the game was kind of muddy and whatever that day. Um, Coach, you talked about trying to um, or needing to improve in the trenches. That's that's the, the final frontier for you guys and, and as you continue to ascend to the level that you want your team to play at. Mm -hmm. How do you think that, that that's coming so far? Well, that comes with the addition of qualified athletes, not only four and five star guys that you deem that are difference makers, but guys that come out of the portal from Power Five that say, this is a another option. This is a lower level. This is another option. Now, when you start getting those players to play against those big boys of those Power Fives, you can, you can do so. Right now, you're not able to do so because they have so much depth as well. That the skill position, even the quarterback for us, we can handle it. But when you get into the trenches, it's going to be a problem if you don't have the depth. Is it one of those things where you're looking at that as a pole? Is that kind of the same thing when you're looking at the upper echelon of the FCS as well? And, and what the team like North Dakota is saying? I don't, I, don't, I don't do that. I'm sorry. I'm so focused on the next opponent, and I'm so focused on us. I ain't got time to be looking at no North Dakota State. They ain't playing us. We ain't playing them. North Dakota, South Dakota, East or West Dakota. I don't, I don't, I'm thankful to what they're doing. They're extremely successful, but we're not playing them. So I'm not looking at that. I'm, I, I have tunnel vision when it comes to the game. Well, speaking of tunnel vision, you're, you're playing a, a, a really good team next next week. Mm -hmm. um, they've been doing a really good job in the Big South. We were just sitting there talking about a Campbell University, yes. a team that's come up from non-scholarship to a scholarship team over the last three years, I believe. Coach is doing a phenomenal job with recruiting, and uh, they're doing a phenomenal job with the program. I, I haven't really, really, truly studied them as of yet because I told you we were locked in on the plane tonight, and tomorrow we will start getting into that. Uh, we'll present the game plan uh, Tuesday and uh, scouting report to the team. But as coaches, we'll lock in from tomorrow all the way to Tuesday and then on. What's one of the big things you can take away from, from the game today? You came out fast. Yeah. Um, it seemed like kind of towards the, the, the end of the second quarter into the third quarter, got a little sloppy. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, a little bit. Let me see. You, you know penalties? How many penalties? I look at, I look at that kind of stuff. Um, we one time of possession. I love that. How many yards do we have rushing? Rushing was 224. 224, that's extremely great passing. 
272. 272. So when you go over 500 yards, um, or close to well over. Right, 496. 496, okay. I'll take that. I'll take that any day. A couple turnovers, which is. Uh, Penalties 441. Excuse me? Four for 41. I'll take that. 441 yards and a couple of them bonehead plays. i take that. Four for 41, I would take that any day. Um, we try to be disciplined, um, not only on the field but off the field as well. That's something that we teach and preach and our kids are not buying into it because we didn't sell it, but that they are making that a part of life, a way of life. And I appreciate that for my guys. Coach, Coach thank you for walking over. How is it? Not good. Swole right now, numb, no. uh, and a lot of pain. It's, it's hard for me to stand up for three hours. It really is. So that's why you see me sitting on the stool or trying to alleviate some pressure off my foot. It, uh, blood clots and, and, and the removal of two toes wouldn't conduce it to stand up for three hours. Yeah. Um, how's Dimitri? Preferably he's better. I haven't received what's going on. Uh, but the way he was hogged, I told him he's going to be hurt. <laughs> you know, we rarely go out there on the field to get one of our players unless it's serious. And they, they're so resilient and tough. That's the first player all year that went down for us because they have a tenacity about them. We always preach smart, tough, tough, fast, and disciplined. And our kids always find a way to get their butts up and get off the field. Therefore, I know he was in a lot of pain. Coach Juan Wilson, HBCU game day. Yes, Coach, sir. we saw Shiloh today yeah. uh, get back in. How, you, you had a smile on your face. Yeah. How, how was it to see him get back in action? Well, he's been getting on my nerves for the last several weeks in that practice. Uh, but he's been working his butt off. I told him he wasn't ready last week. Today he got in and contributed so he could get back to being the old Shiloh and, and the starter. Uh, we're missing two guys like that in the secondary. We've still been pretty successful. You, you figure a Shiloh. Um, that's all swipe or whatever they call it. Then you got Travis Hunter, not even in the starting lineup on the defense. Um, then we got another gentleman, uh, True, Thompson. True, True Thompson from Florida State, that hadn't played as, as well. So there's three stars on the defense, and we have a pretty dominant defense. That's going to help us tremendously. Coach, you're uh, going to be at 60 minutes tomorrow night. Yes, sir. For real? 60 minutes. Yeah. Good morning, America, on Monday, from what I understand. Friday. What do you hope this accomplishes? This kind of nationwide publicity on those kind of platforms. What do you hope that accomplishes for Jackson State and the SWAC? Uh, it's a blessing because I'm associated. I coach in the SWAC. So, uh, and for Jackson State, not just what we do on those popular shows or, or that media, what we do on social media, that's the way to get to these youngsters. That's the way to get to uh, the majority of the country. And we do a tremendous uh, amount of uh, showcasing our kids and who we are as a school, as an institution. So, but those major platforms will bring eyeballs from people that would not normally click in to a SWAT game or a Jackson State event. So we're thankful. That truly is a blessing for all of us. Coach, really quickly, you spoke about discipline, so I just have a quick question uh, about Shador. So throwing that interception, what did you say? To Which you one? Yeah, the one, I mean, the that's wild not, one he drew right to the... Team. That's not who he is. Yeah. That's not who he is. I mean, when he elongates the play and not get the ball out of the hand, his hands, uh, he made a couple of mistakes today. That is truly not Shador. Shador had only thrown what, two interceptions on over. Right. And yes. both of those were like, both of, every interception he's yeah. thrown this year, we look at him and say, why? He, he's, he's better than that. We have more of an expectation of him than to just give a turnover away like that. And he gave away two of them today. That's not who he is. And to be honest, though, to me, he kind of looked like when he was overthrowing his receivers in the red zone, he looked a little bit like Lamar Jackson against the Bengals on Sunday. <laughs> uh, well, I hope he does look like Lamar. Mm -hmm. Lamar's about to get about 300 names. Real soon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind that comparison. Mm -hmm. Two more questions, please. And Coach, I know you haven't really prepared much for next week yet, but do you have a relationship with Coach Mender? No, but he's a wonderful guy, I've heard. I, I don't whatsoever, but I heard he's a wonderful guy. I, I tracked his career somewhat. Um, I'm just happy, man. When a, when a guy that played in the league gets an opportunity to leave, man, that's a blessing because they've been there, done that, been to all kinds of situations, trials and, trials and tribulations, and they already come equipped with the leadership skills of men. So I'm thankful. Um, it's going to be a great game. I look really forward to it. Still Heisman hopeful? Of course. All right. Well, yeah. You see, you said the other part. You got about the five touchdowns. You should have lived with that. Well, you got a statue. You got a music on that. You lived with five, man. 
for the season? 22. 22, and what game are we in? It's six, six games. Okay. I'll take that. I think anybody in the country would take that, those numbers. How many throw for today? Two, uh, 272. Yeah, at all day. What was this? 75%, 36, 48. See, you see what I'm saying? He's 36. What was that? For uh, 48. For 48. And how many, what's the completion percentage? 75. And that's a bad game to us. Think about that. So what can he improve on, in your opinion? Not, thank you, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I always say that because I, I know what I want to say, and God said, don't do that. You're a head coach, don't do that. So I said, thank you, Lord. But uh, he, he just can't make those type of mistakes. I mean, we had a comfortable lead, so he was free to do that kind of stuff. But in a tight game, we can't do that. But I'll take I'll take it every day, not the last, exceptions. I know you said last question, but I got to ask you. You good, you good. Okay, thank you. Um, you're keeping him in the whole game. No fear of maybe getting injured. Whatever you fear usually happens, overtake okay, we, sure. we don't We don't fear we don't fear anything. We fear we fear the Lord. That's the only thing we fear. We don't fear man. No, we we don't we don't function like that. Like we we go hard, and uh, you got to understand we wanted to end on a positive note. That's the only reason we kept him in that long after throwing to a couple picks. We wanted to end on a touchdown drive. Then we got him right out after that. So that that was more of for him mentally, so we could get on the plane. And I'm not gonna look at him like he's crazy because he sits right by me on the flight. We good? Thank you. Everybody's good? Thank you. God bless you all. I left the paper up here, too. Thank you. One final note, the three safeties by Jackson State tied the NCAA record. Preach. <laughs> NCAA wasn't a swipe record. Is it NCAA? NCAA. Oh, wasn't no, a swipe. I saw four, I, but I